Um, I've had several people ask me about the face mask that we like the best, so I thought I would just make a video. Um, last August, August of 2020, I posted a video about the face mask that I had tried out with my family. We would tried out three different types, and um, this type was our favorite, pleated on the top and pleated on the bottom. Since then, I've tried a handful more of patterns, and there's four of them I'm going to talk about today. Um, they all have a good fit. Um, I think, I mean, they're all in a good running with this one. Um, some of them are easier to sew than the others, so I'll show you quickly which ones we've done and tried and which ones we like the, the best. Um, so this one right here, I've seen called the origami mask, or some people call it the 3D mask. I call it the origami mask. Um, this is my current, my current favorite, and I'll tell you a little bit more why after we look at some of the other ones. Um, so that one comes from, I've tried, I want to say like three different versions of this origami mask. I like best, um, the one from C. Kate Sew. You can get the pattern from her. So this is the pattern I use, although I have adjusted, um, how she does it because there's a few things that I think make it fit better and that I think, uh, make it faster to sew. Um, but that's where I would get the pattern from. The second kind I tried is um, this 3D face mask. This is the pattern for it. Um, I'll put a link to the video in the pictures. Um, this one has a really similar fit to the origami mask, but it's just way more complicated to cut and trace. It just takes more time and doesn't give you any advantage in the fit, I think. So I've, I don't even have any masks to show you because I gave away the ones that I made like this and I don't think it's worth the time to make more, but you try it out if you want. Um, then I tried a mask with a pattern that looks like this where you put this on the fold of your fabric and you cut two. They turn out looking like this. So they have one pleat on each side. Um, this one I do like the fit of. It is fairly simple to make. Um, the hardest part is doing the, the pleat here. Um, it is nice if you are using like little scraps of fabric, you don't have big chunks, this one works well because you don't actually have to put this on a fold because you end up sewing down here anyway. So you could do two separate pieces of fabric. So if you have a little chunk here and a little chunk there, this is good to use when you don't have much fabric. However, the, um, the person who did this has they do this style where you're, you make like a tube to put your elastic through. I personally don't like that, so I adjusted it to um, sew the elastics directly in and just skip that step. So it makes it faster to sew without doing that step, and I think it makes a better, a better fit. So that one's like the side pleat mask. I cannot find the YouTube video um, that I learned this from. But if any of you are interested in making this style, let me know and I can um, send you the pattern and give you some instructions for it. So it's, a, it's an okay one to make. Um, the third one, I call this the SAA face mask. Um, it looks like this. It's two pieces with a pleat on the nose and then a, there's a separate piece on the chin. 
Um, so this one I never found a pattern for. My husband just was given one at work and it was his very favorite. So I just took it apart and made my own pattern. So this is what the pattern looks like. You lay this on a fold and then this is the chin piece. Um, I like wrote up a little, some little instructions on how to do it. So you can find those. I'll attach them to the picture too. Um, so that's all four of them and all four fit your face well. Um, but to me, the biggest thing, which, which, since we liked the fit of all of them, which one was the easiest and the fastest to make? And hands down, the winner is the origami mask. Um, the pattern, like cutting the pattern, it's all straight lines. So it's super easy to cut, super easy to line up the two pieces, um, super easy to sew. I rarely use pins. There's only a couple spots in it that I use pins because it just fits together easily. Um, so just because of that, it's fastest. So I like, I prefer to make this one. Uh, it takes me about 20 minutes per mask to make. Um, this style that was my husband's favorite, it's, um, it's not too bad to make. It is good if you're, um, if you don't have a ton of fabric, this one takes the least amount of fabric out of the four kinds. So if you're tight on fabric, you can use this one. The only tricky part is that uh, when you're putting on the chin piece to the other piece, I think I did that upside down, you're like putting this curved edge on a less curved edge. So you just have to pin it, which isn't difficult to do, but it just takes time to pin it and to sew it. So a little bit more time consuming. And then I already mentioned this one is, you can easily use if you just have little chunks of fabric. Um, it would be a good one to do. The longest part is that you have to pleat this side, but it isn't difficult. Um, and then, yeah, I just skipped this one because it's more difficult than very, very similar ones because there's so many edges and curves. Um, so yeah, we like this origami or 3D mask, get the pattern from CK so, and then use my instructions to make it because I think they're better. <laughs> um, two, other, two other things I would recommend. I used to only put wire in masks for people who wore glasses because um, the wire really helped keep their glasses from fogging up. Um, however, now I just put wire in every face mask because it's not that hard. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't cost very much money and it just fits better and it doesn't matter who you give it to. I've tried jewelry wire and I've tried pipe cleaner. Um, pipe cleaner is not worth it. It It isn't like, it doesn't hold its shape well enough. It gets bunchy in the laundry. Don't use pipe cleaner. Um, but the jewelry wire has worked well. I haven't tried anything besides jewelry wire and pipe cleaner. So if you found something you like, let me know. Um, and then the last thing that I found that has been really good are these uh, cordons. They, um, I used to just measure elastic to each individual um, so they would fit right. But this just goes a lot faster because then I don't need the individual in front of me. I don't have to measure it to their particular head. I just make my elastics 9 or 10 inches long and then I put these on. And I've also found if I'm wearing a mask for a long time, sometimes I like to loosen up the elastics a little bit after a while. Um, I like them tighter at the beginning and then kind of loosen them up. So that's an advantage as well. And a tip to that my husband brought up for those of you who are like having to wear masks for long amounts of time, um, like if you're in school or working a full-time job, he says it makes a huge difference if he switches out his mask every hour or two so that it doesn't get too hot and stuffy. So maybe be taking like four or five masks a day so that you can rotate through them. Um, I haven't had personal experience with that, but anyway, hope that helps someone and let me know if you want more info on making any of 
those face masks. <laughs>